Call 6 investigates dug into the tax dollars used to cover the cost of overtime for the state police security detail, helping to protect Governor Pence on the campaign trail. The Indiana Democratic Party tonight is now asking for Pence to pay it all back. Call 6 investigates Paris Lubell broke the story, digging into the dollars and cents of it all. He joins us now with that letter that state Democrats have sent to the governor tonight. Paris. Jason, good evening. Today, the chair of the Indiana Democratic Party sending this open letter titled, Mike Pence, Pay, Hoosier Ta Pay Back Hoosier Taxpayers. It's all after a Call 6 investigation into Governor Pence's state police security detail. We found that the overtime for the team of state troopers tasked with protecting the governor, first lady, and lieutenant governor more than quadrupled after Pence joined Trump's ticket. And the state of Indiana is paying for it. Our report prompting Indiana Democratic Party Chairman John Zodi to send this letter, saying Indiana's governor is given a security detail provided by the Indiana State Police that's needed to protect our state's highest executive. These officers' biggest responsibility is to ensure the safety of the governor with all the official related travel across Indiana and sometimes around the globe. But it shouldn't be taken for granted that Hoosiers foot the bill. In fact, like all responsibilities of the position, the governor should be pragmatic about travel, its purpose, and whether state resources should be used to pay for it. Sodi goes on to say, I'm not asking you to remove Indiana State Police from your security detail. However, it should be understandable that as a candidate for office, both now and the recent past, that you would have the resources to do the right thing and refund the state. The Trump-Pence campaign firing back tonight. Press Secretary Mark Lauder saying it is galling that John Zodi would play politics with the security of the Pence family. It is also laughable given the fact that Democratic candidate for governor lobbyist John Gregg has built Hoosier taxpayers out of $200,000 in health insurance costs for Gregg and his family, a cost that will keep rising as Gregg insured Hoosiers would pay for his health insurance for the rest of his life. The Trump-Pence campaign telling us they are paying for the troopers' food and hotel costs while on the road, but they are not paying the state back for this overtime. Pence is also protected by the Secret Service, which is common for vice presidential nominees. Erica?